Um, as I mentioned, I'm single, and um, I've been single for a while. My last boyfriend was in the eighth grade. I'm kidding. Um, of course, we broke up, you know, because his mom didn't like that he was dating a 24 year old. <laughs> I thought it was only illegal if he were his teacher. <laughs> I thought I was way cool though, because like I could drive and I didn't have a curfew and uh, I was fully developed. It was nice to be popular. Um, but yeah, um, I was at a bar the other night though, things were going really great with this guy. Um, we were hitting it off and you know talking and everything, and then uh, I got to the point where he was, he wanted me to spend the night. He wanted me to sleep over. And I was like, I don't know what kind of lady you think I am, but I'm not that kind of lady. And I put my clothes back on and I left his apartment. <laughs> so I had my own bed to sleep in. My parents' house. <laughs> we get worried if I get home late. <laughs> but we didn't change numbers, and he texted me one night and he said, um, he said um, he was masturbating to the thought of me, which is the most disgusting and flattering thing I've ever heard in my life. Because <laughs> you can't have sex with everybody that you want to, but you can fantasize about anybody you want. You picked me. That's special. <laughs> so go, I'm thinking about you while I'm touching myself. Ew! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> then he sent me a text, um, one, and one night he sent me a text, it was a booty text. And I didn't know how to respond, because like, I was totally down for it, but I'm really uncomfortable like actually like, verbalizing like sexual needs and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I'm getting caught up with that right now, just talking about how I'm uncomfortable talking about it. Anyway, so I was like, how do I respond to this guy? And I thought the only way I could do it was if like, you know like in the 1920s, they had like that great like vernacular where like, Everything was in innuendo, and so they talked really dirty, but you couldn't tell. It was way awesome. So I got out my phone. This hello, hello phone. <laughs> you can't vote for American Idol on it, but nobody votes for that shit anyway. So, <laughs> um, so I called him up, and uh, I was like, "Hello, hello, buddy. I know it's 2 a.m., but listen, can you have a day out tonight? I know you with Annie, but what are you doing with your time with a cheap boozy like that? You know she's in a more lax than a napkin." He said, "Buddy." Don't be a fool. I'm all dolled up. I've had some giggle water and I'm carrying the torch for you. <laughs> you wait any longer to make a deposit at the bank, it'll be close. I tell you, close. <laughs> Money, don't you see? Together with dynamite, and I'm just waiting to explode. I need the fuse to make the fuse. Just the sound of your voice is making my water boil. I want your hands all over you like print on a newspaper. Money, I'm coming on over. I'm not wearing any bloomers. He did not call me back. <laughs> I did get a telegram. I said, Dear Kelly, stop. Stop. Seriously, stop. Stop. I'm only in the eighth grade. 